Good morning. P.O. P.O. Positive or that P. Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then I spend some time on Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. Answer. Hey you! Hi! So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Angie, we need to talk. Ooh, that sounds ominous. So, what's on your mind, babe? Well, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. I see. I, ca I came on a little too strong. It's been known to happen. I do like you, just not in that way. Gotcha. Friends it is. So anyway, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? You feel that way about Providence Oaks? It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? I think so, yeah. I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Ah, uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. Maharia. I'll swing by later.
was heavier than I thought. Nope, no answer. Interesting. answer. Here's your mail. Okay. 
package for you? I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. I know you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now. What do you have? It's on the house. Pie! I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? Nah, I'm good. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks! on earth did these folks order? Nope, no answer.
Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Ah, okay. So, what now? Well, I want you to listen to my wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Um, right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. Let's do it. When and where is it? Rock and roll. It's this afternoon at Jack Reynolds' barn. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay. You might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action! Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Actually, no. Could you also try... Attention Providence Oaks, and Lake Lovers, listen up. So, just the first words. Yeah, Robert, if you could hurry up a bit. <laughs> Potatoes don't come out of the ground voluntarily. One, two, three, action! <clears throat> Attention, Providence Oaks. Lake Lovers, listen up. Like that? A star is born. Now, let's do some real work. All right, this should work. All right. It's time to really roll up our sleeves. You ready, Robert? 
Sure thing, Jack. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the... Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. Go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right. But where is Frank now? Frank is not here. But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. <laughs> 